Hello, welcome to episode 2 of our Water Beaver playthrough here in Timberborn Update 4 Heavily Modded Edition. I guess this mod is enormous, it qualifies all by itself as heavily modded. But yeah, last time, we got off to a pretty good start with the Water Beavers, got our little colony set up, had a rudimentary dam with the help of these, uh, well, formerly three houses, currently two to let water through, and we got started farming some things, learned a little bit about the mod, and had a, a pretty good introduction, and now it's time to dive a little bit deeper. But before we do, I did want to let you guys know that the developer of the mod uh, has found the video, left some pretty helpful information, including a uh, recommendation and, and permission for me to go in and plant some brambles ahead of uh, starting this. So that's what I did. That's why it says day two. You'll see right here, we have a bramble seedling and we have this one right here. And then I also put a second clutch further down river right here. So what these do is these are pretty essential to making food and they weren't occurring anywhere on the map and we, we could have just put a forester down and waited but he did say go ahead put it down and see what you can uh make do with that so that's what i did hope you'll forgive me for doing something off screen but uh yep there we go so these are now quote unquote naturally occurring uh approved by the mod maker himself so we'll uh we'll stick with that i did plant a couple more of them over here but they haven't been installed because we don't have a forester over here i think i'll leave that for a future expansion to uh, stick these things in but what these things do is they take a day to grow and then they take three days after they grow to actually be able to harvest the flowers and apparently these spread pretty fast like weeds so i'm going to go ahead and unmark uh, all of this for cutting because well we've already cut most of it but I will uh, make sure that we're able to actually make use of these things. And uh, all that fun stuff. So these are pretty pretty essential for making a bunch of different food recipes. I found out kimchi is not, in fact, what I originally thought it was. Uh, this recipe is the bramble flowers and cabbages. Fortunately, we do have some cabbages stored up, but again, we don't have the bramble flowers, so that's why I planted those. And should be all good to go otherwise couple other things to note I did do a little bit of research uh, watching some of the videos actually that the mod creator put out on YouTube and we're going to be moving some of these things around like these water pumps and the farmhouses actually should be directly next to each other because they get the upgrades if you remember I talked a little bit about that last time we have this farm upgrade and then there's also the water pump upgrade so that actually has to be two of these side by side so eventually when we get ready to do that we're probably just going to remove those and place them back down in a manner that is going to allow us to use those upgrades. But for right now, we're not going to worry about it. We'll keep pumping and we'll keep uh, farming just like we always have. Let's accumulate a little bit more cabbage along the way. In fact, I think I'll be planting a lot more of that because it, it seems like that's going to be a pretty important thing for us moving forward here. So in that vein, I think what we're going to end up doing is taking out all of these things including this farmhouse once these are all planted and i'm going to have the farmhouse actually go the other way here and we're going to have that side by side with another one so we can upgrade it later on down the line we'll just let them take care of those first and then we'll move on because one thing i really really want to make sure we get done today is developing these actual primitive dams which of course requires the fasteners which requires us to have this thing all set up ready to go and there is quite a lot that we really uh, should be uh, taking a look at here. We've got good storage here. We were supposed to put this other one in here and have some other uh, some other fun stuff all set up, ready to go. We've been uh, theoretically harvesting some scrap metal. We got a little bit of storage in the way of sawdust and some coal and some scrap metal. So theoretically, pretty soon we're going to be ready to move on into making our primitive ironworks, which is going to require the anvil, of course, to make our fasteners. And another thing I've learned from the uh, comments and doing a little bit more research is that yes, we can actually harvest the anvil from the broken expedition cart, but to do that, there's a very specific sequence of things we've got to do. So let's go ahead and get right into that as the sun begins to set here on day two in cycle two. Uh, we've got to go into our basic village structures and pick our four-way district center and we need to find a spot for it but it can't be connected to anything which is going to be an interesting challenge so i think what we'll do i'll let these guys move a little bit we're just going to stick this right next to this 
It is a four-way, so we might offset it one more so we can have the path going, going all the way around here. Or we could possibly take a brief moment, once these guys are all off the path, to try and find a slightly better location. Uh, probably with it being four-way, it, it realistically should go here. But I can't because this is in the way, and I can't delete this without this being here. Because these two guys are the ones that actually build stuff. And if you get rid of this, then there's no building to employ builders and you know, it's, you're gonna have a bad time. So let's pause the game, take a second and think. Uh, we could probably pretty easily put it here actually. That wouldn't be the worst place for it. it would be a little bit closer to the mines and uh, any further expansion this way. I think, at least for right now, I can't think of anything better to do. So let's go ahead, delete those guys. And then we will stick our four-way district center right here, except we have to delete one more piece of uh, path here. So they're not connected. There we go. It's going to treat that like a second district. Uh, but all we have to do now is make sure this actually gets built first and then, then delete this. Don't delete this first because then nobody can build it and you've soft locked your game and you're gonna have a bad time. So we'll unpause now that that's placed. Uh, nobody's chilling here without the ability to, you know, go back home and do anything because nobody lives in any of these buildings. So we'll let them go through the rest of their night. Got some homeless beavers. Got to take care of that. But we'll, uh, we'll get there because remember we had to demolish this. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put anything. All right. So our two builders should be, ah, they can't, they can't actually build this because we, <laughs> because we don't have the rest of the stuff. All right. All right. All right. All right. I promise I'm not that stupid. Let's let's reconnect these just uh, temporarily right here so they can actually get over here to start gnawing on things. There we go. There we go. Now they can come in here and take care of everything they need to do. Uh, yeah, get gnawing on those tooth cut planks, my guys. Mostly harmless. Not a beard booster, but a indeed a custom uh, a checker's guide to the galaxy name I threw in there on a uh, viewer suggestion. But there we go. We're just about uh, halfway there. A little bit more. Let them take care of that again. Once that's done, we will demolish this. And then in order to actually harvest these things, we have to have another warehouse. So I think I think it's a warehouse, not a not a pile. But we'll put this in here and we're going to actually set this to you see all this stuff down here. We're going to set this to anvil. And that means they should be able to just immediately place the anvil here after it drops out of the expedition cart after this other district center is finished. We have some unemployed beavers, so let's go ahead and uh, stick those guys in the log gnawing station, gnaw some logs uh, additionally, get that taken care of. Uh, Food-wise, really starting to uh, build up our stock here, so that's looking nice. Uh, we should have storage, that's pine resin, cabbages, berries. We actually don't have a storage for the, um, oh, what are these things, sunflower seeds? We probably should have some of those. I think our beavers aren't really focused on that right now but i did say once this is all uh all built up i am going to demolish these but first let's just make sure before i do that yeah 25 logs uh we have we have enough logs to build one of these again we do not have enough logs to build two so we're really going to need to be careful uh i i guess we're gonna have to cut some of these down and there was a there was a technique that a couple of people suggested, which was making a checkerboard pattern for cutting trees down, which is going to allow uh, them to kind of grow in cycles. And until we actually start planting more stuff, I think that's going to be what... Wow, look how fast these things grow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they spread like weeds. All right. <laughs> all right, I think we're going to be all right having uh, having some, some brambles there. The question, though... Oh, I thought this eye was going to have some information... Does this actually uh, let you harvest these without cutting the thing down? Oh, I guess I could just, uh, yeah, gather flag harvester's office. There we go. Uh, we already have the gather flag here. Good. So they should actually be harvesting this as soon as they're ready. That's good. I was a little worried about that, but man, look how fast this grows. We're going to need to, uh, we need to keep this in check with maybe some, uh, some paths here. So let's just, uh, I don't think it can grow past this area anyway, but we'll go ahead and make sure that this, uh, this doesn't take over everything. I don't think it can go up or down hills. So maybe that will be, uh, maybe that'll be fine. Now I'm curious. Let's check out 
Okay. All right, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. I'm glad those spread fast, though, because we definitely need to have a lot of them. All right, unpause. Yeah, I was going to go ahead and move this farmhouse and this other one, but we don't have the resources for it quite yet. I was hoping they'd finish this for, you know, halfway through this cycle, because we got some got some stuff to do. Really, really need to make sure we're making those things before it's too late. So I guess what we'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and kind of checkerboard this. See what they're able to actually, you know, take care of over here. It takes a little bit of time to set this up, but I do think it's going to be worth it in the long run. That way we can just constantly have stuff growing or not growing, as the uh, case may be. And just have this whole thing harvested there. Yeah, come out this way. Skip that for a path. Yeah, this hopefully, hopefully ends up being a smart choice. So we'll leave that like so. All right, now this is ready to go. Let's put this in slow mode. Yeah, this says District Three because I had to place I had to place one down here to get them to uh, put these things in. So don't worry, no other no other hanky panky besides what I already uh, already showed you here. All right, so let's pause the game. This is already here. We're going to demolish this. That's done. Now we're going to be very careful not to demolish any of this. And one of these is going to be the anvil. Yep, anvils, chemistry sets, incredibly compact library sets. I love that. Um, other, well, there's a lot of materials in this. All right, looking good, looking good. Now we have this set to harvest the anvil. So we'll go ahead and just connect all of this again. Four-way district center. So now uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and rename this to Bieberberg 12 and should have uh, our workers go ahead and get reassigned here. It looks like it's eventually going to, uh, there we go, set that down to two. It looks like we got James Peacock mostly harmless in here again. And now we should see, wow, this whole 36 anvils, really? I don't think we're ever going to have 36 of those. But now they can start gathering this stuff. Once the anvil has been uh, gathered, we can go ahead and build, I believe we have, um, oh, we need the dirt. Is that dirt? Um, no, that's not dirt. That's, oh, that's the clay. That's right. We had to have the clay pit, which takes 20 logs to build. Um, that has to go in the river. So actually that would go right here would be a pretty, uh, pretty good spot for it, I think. But we might want to make this into our uh, our pump area. Might be a little bit better of a uh, place to stick that. So instead, uh, what if I put this here? It's kind of far away from everything, but I don't think that's the worst thing we could possibly do. Uh, as a reminder, this is going to all get uh, completely redone. So let's uh, prioritize that. Get these guys coming in here build our clay pit, start working, and hopefully our, our haulers will take uh, all of the uh, stuff in here and move it to where it's supposed to go. I, I guess they have other things to do. We do have haulers, they're just uh, currently focused on other things that are prioritized. Did I, did I not prioritize anything? I guess I didn't. Well, regardless, they're going to do it anyway because, man, look at how, look how fast this is spreading up here. That's wild. So we have bramble flowers. Um, oh, I shouldn't have deleted the barrel. I should have been um, should have been doing that this whole time. But I took that out because I was going to have this be in a a slightly better spot. And I want to make sure we get everything else taken care of before we get too crazy here. Let's get this all situated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in another lumberjack flag up here so they can reach all of these trees. Uh, yeah, I think we'll put that right there. Because I did, if you remember, uh, mark these for cutting in that checkerboard pattern, which will continue. Nope, that was the wrong way. We'll continue to do that so they can just continue spawning trees. There we go. Let's see, look at look at this. It's actually kind of a cool pattern. We'll just make sure that we're not uh, not getting too crazy here. Eventually, we are going to have to cut all of this down. It's just right now, this is a good excuse for us to make a 
an early game effort here without having to uh, expend all of our resources. But for now, I believe, believe that is going to do it. Just make sure they can cut everything and harvest from the mature trees that grow in between. Okay, we still don't have still don't have an anvil here. Oh nope, there's the one. All right, so we have the anvil. Uh, we have this guy. Nobody working here. I'm going to go ahead and set that to one. Send mostly harmless down that way. We really need to make sure <laughs> that I can build one of these before the drought comes, or else things are gonna get a little bit rough. Just just a little bit. I love how this has its own category of uh, the uh, the building core elements, but the icon is this. I, I think it was mentioned that not all of the icons have been uh, completed yet, but that is that is still kind of a kind of a neat thing to look at. All right, clay wise, how are we looking here? We have one clay. We're gonna need ten, I think. Yep. But the primitive ironworks can go ahead and have a home uh, right here. Seems like a decent enough spot next to our primitive mine that is mining the coal. Uh, it does take the anvil to build. Uh, metal fasteners is what we're going to do. And of course, there's tons of other options for this. We have different things we'll get to eventually. But for right now, this is going to be the way we want to do stuff. I believe once you place the primitive ironworks based off of the information that I've got from the tutorial videos that the mod maker has put up on his YouTube channel, that uh, there's going to be a process to transition into these other things other ironwork buildings and industrial and everything, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. For right now, we're going to do our best to follow the early game stuff as best as we can to make sure we don't make any crazy mistakes. But that anvil is in place, just waiting on the clay, which means we can now set this to hold uh, others. I just, I'm in awe about all these, all these little things that the game has decided to uh, bestow upon us. So what I'll do now, instead of anvils, this is going to be for uh, chemistry sets. We'll make this one for the incredibly compact library set. Uh, just look for any other kind of important looking things. Uh, clay pots. Uh, where is, is that? No, large cauldron. One of these was clay pots. Uh, is that, there we go. Yeah, anything that's got that red outline is pretty probably going to be pretty important and the rest of this is we're just going to you know figure out when we figure it out i, I do want to know why the clay is taking so long oh there's no workers because we don't have enough workers because we have nine nine empty spots so i think i'm going to go ahead and fire two people from the log gnawing station see if we can get anybody back in here um water storage wise looking okay um, we already only have the one worker here. Uh, if I go ahead and have this down to two for the primitive mine, that might give us a little bit, a little bit down here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I have this. Oh, there's nobody working here either. Okay. Uh, do I want to go ahead? Do I want to go ahead and move these guys? I think, I think we might want to, and this is going to get interesting because these are going to need to face a specific way, I think. So if I go ahead and do that, we have the wood. Uh, and if we don't, we'll get it very quickly uh, to go ahead and get rid of that. Because this is going to need to go. I uh, have this right here, which means, well, this is going to move anyway. So if I just get rid of that. All right, come on, let me click farmhouse. Uh, we'll do one here. We'll do one here connect to each other and then of course we can't research this yet because we don't have the uh university the school whatever you want to call it unlocked but those placed right next to each other i believe i've done that correctly uh you can now upgrade that and then we'll fix the water pumps to be over here which we can actually go ahead oh that's a wow look how much this has grown <laughs> oh that's insane all right well i mean hey we need them uh i wonder if the beavers can actually go inside of this or if it's going to stick them up, if they get some sort of injury from it. It doesn't seem like that's the case. I think they're, uh, I think they're just going, uh, going in there. But we're going to probably want to start cutting this back and just have it, yeah, look how fast this is spreading. We're going to want this to be contained with the paths, assuming the paths can stop it, which I'm not entirely sure is uh, possible at, at this point. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm aware that this 
has not finished because we don't have clay and we don't have clay because this is disconnected. Uh, that is going to be fixed, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to unpause that, delete this guy, move this path in like so. Could there have been a better way to do this? Yeah, probably, but we'll uh, we'll fix it eventually. I had this other one paused anyway, so now that's fine. They can harvest some of the logs into making these things as well, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. Just want to make sure this stuff all gets connected. Yeah, just about there. This guy hasn't even started getting anything yet. And I am I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> getting a little worried about our uh about our stuff here. So let's go ahead. Just for the uh the benefit of all this other stuff, can I go ahead and pause this? No, I did not want that to be <sighs> ding dongs. There's some sort of method to this that I don't really think I understand correctly yet. But I th think, I guess, there we go. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to corral the debris into another spot. So that way when I place the actual building later... Oh, all that for six pine resin, really? Alright, well, whatever. I guess we'll figure that out when the time comes a little bit, a little bit later on. But now this one's back in action. Nobody working there because, well, we uh, didn't have enough beavers. But the good news is this should be able to uh, continue construction now. It is nice that the two uh, workers here actually live in the same building. I, I don't think that usually happens. Man, I gotta find a way to get these guys in here. Where can we spare some workers here? And the log gnawing station is probably a pretty important thing. Lumberjack flag there. Um, this actually doesn't really have anything to cut down, so I'm going to get rid of that. We could have just paused it. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna redo half this stuff anyway, because we already have this guy right here cutting those down. As soon as that's done, he's going to be gone as well. Um, so I really need to make sure we have somebody in the water pump, which we do. Probably could use some additional water storage. Actually, now that I think about it. We've got plenty of opportunity to be building stuff. Unfortunately, we can't unlock the larger ones until we, uh, well, you know, have science. Water storage house is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good idea. I think we should go ahead and build one of those. If we can find a decent spot for it. That'll connect to the path appropriately. I mean, I guess right here would not be the worst. Uh, probably would be smartest to go ahead and do something like this. Yep, there we go. Uh, put, our, put our crappy platforms in place. Or um, that actually might not have been smart. Well, we can I mean, we can cut stuff down. We're not, not doing the worst we've ever done. 17 logs. Man, what a waste. I guess we'll, I guess we'll just do this one for now. And figure something else out here because uh, this is still is not even close to being done. Got the one guy working here in the clay pit. Four hours to get a single bit of clay. Oh, they're still on 24-hour work days. Oops, that was something. That was something I did when I was trying to plant those brambles off screen earlier. Oops. So if you caught that before I did, you win a cookie. And by you win a cookie, I mean I can't actually give you a cookie, but uh, just enjoy the thought of uh, <laughs> enjoy the thought of having having that digital cookie from me. But at any rate, we've got a couple more logs we can uh, bring in here to build the water storage house. That's going to be probably a bit better space-wise than having this small tank uh, continue to expand. It is just unfortunate that we could not get this done. So you know what that means? We're going to come in here with another watertight lodge. Build this thing right here. Cause probably actually, we have enough wood. We just have to have the time to get beavers in to build it. So as long as this is finished, before they go to bed on the last day of the drought, which would be, or the last day of the pre-drought, which would be tomorrow in beaver speak, will be in okay shape. Because they've already got all the logs in here just waiting on a little bit more clay. And it kills me that this is, <laughs> this is just about going to be ready to start making these things as soon as we can't do anything else here. But that's the way it goes. 
that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So as long as we can get another 15 logs in here and we can get all these materials in place before it's too late, we'll be in good shape. If not, we're going to have a really bad time because all of these guys are going to be completely unusable. So that being said, uh, the last day, I am going to hyper-prioritize this lodge just to make sure that gets done. If it floods, it floods. There's not really anything I can do to prevent that. It's just uh, kind of the unfortunate reality of where we find ourselves, even though this is almost finished. Almost finished. Good news is uh, this is uh, not going to take too much longer to build. Um, hopefully, if we can get these logs in place, looks like they're... Uh, coming on over here. I am going to go ahead and go back to the 24 hour working hours just to make sure this gets done. So don't worry. We're going to take it off as soon as this lodge is built. We just really have to be careful about when this gets done. Because man, man, did I, oh, you idiot. Get I, these stupid beavers. If they, if they go through this, it's, it's over for them. It like, it's absolutely, it's curtains. Because <laughs> we're not going to be able to get them out. All right. Uh, we gotta have a uh, gotta have a severe increase in building because no, the drought is here. It's only three days, but the drought is here, and we don't have enough wood. And we are really gonna be hurting here in just a second if we don't have this finished. So uh, these guys better get going. All right, good, 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 good. We're not gonna have all the water we want, but it is only a three-day drought, so definitely, definitely could have been worse. And now we have some extra beds for them to, uh, you know, do their thing and start making more beavers. So that's always a good option. All right. Metal fasteners require coal and scrap metal. Now, nobody's working here yet because we don't have enough beavers. But uh, seems like everything is going to be okay. And one thing I didn't think of is how fast these are going to die if they're out of the water. And look just how much these guys have grown up. I don't think any of these even fall outside of the uh, watered area, but man, they, those grow fast. I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. 906 days. 1,050 set three years. These can live three years out of water. Is, is that supposed to be, is that supposed to be what that value is? I cannot think of a single plant on earth that would last three years out of water. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's one of those post-apocalyptic wonder things, but I digress. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unprioritize this pump because I don't want to pump all the water out and we have enough stored at least for right now, but not enough here to keep pumping. That's going to be one of those things we've got to, got to kind of get a hold on here. But well, we've got extra space for extra beavers, so now we can start moving into some other stuff. Uh, we have, oh, we don't have storage space for bramble flowers. That's probably, probably not the best idea. I should have had this set up also. Where's my space here? There we go. Since I already have these built, we'll just set these to bramble flowers. That's looking good. Our uh, checkerboard cutting pattern seems to be, uh, seems to be working at least a little bit to get us some extra logs and to keep our stock of pine resin full, which is obviously very much necessary. Uh, I wish I had a guy to put in here. I don't know that I can really take him to be out of any of the rest of this stuff. We don't even have any workers in the farmhouse right now. Um, this needs to be storing. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you can store. It's not just water storage house. I guess they just call it a water storage house because you can put it in the water to store stuff. I don't know. Well, we'll set that to water. That's fine right there. It's not attached because I don't have any uh, path, but now that's good to go. Now we have extra capacity for extra beavers. Love to see that. Uh, 0.3 days left in the drought. I am, <laughs> I know they're going to, it's going to drive them insane. Or mostly harmless over here has been kicked all over the place. It's going to drive them insane when I keep deleting this lodge and rebuilding it later. But hopefully, hopefully, the next time around, we'll be able to put a primitive dam in because now we have metal fasteners. We just got to make sure we get rid of this thing. Trout is ended. Uh, once the water starts coming down here, I will get rid of this because this is very, very low and I do not want the crops to actually die. So now we just have to wait as one does. 
Let's see how fast this comes down here. It always goes faster in triple speed mode. And I know I said in the first episode I'm not going to abuse triple speed. But I think we're past the danger zone of, you know, accidentally killing the beavers. So we'll probably make a little bit more use of this. And it's just about time to uh, kick these guys out. And there we go. All right, no flooding. Everybody's happy. Love to see it. Cool. So now this guy is finished uh, getting all of his stuff done. So we'll let him go do another job. Get rid of that guy. And up here we can build a whole bunch of industrial stuff. I think would be a good spot. What do we still have left here? Pine resin, scrap metal, explosives. Plenty of explosives. Lots of dynamite. Um, clay pots. Chemistry sets. Bramble flowers. Are these in like little boxes? That's cute. Uh, no cabbages. I guess we ate all the cabbages. Because nobody <laughs> nobody's working in the farmhouse to harvest more. Alright, so now let's have a hard conversation about uh, job placement here. Because we have to have food to eat, and we currently kind of don't. So I'm going to go down to one beaver in the log gnawing station. Uh, somebody's in the water pump. That's good. Uh, I'm going to prioritize. Farmhouse here is mostly harmless again. Uh, the clay pit is not as crucial, I don't think. So let's deprioritize that. And uh, have uh, two guys in here working in the farmhouse. But what we really need to do really need to do is put in fermentation barrels, and that's something we were uh, kind of not doing. So I'm going to stick two of those right here because we have this extra space for right now. And I'm going to set both of these to kimchi. And as soon as they build those, we'll be hopefully in a uh, better spot to get that stuff all done. Uh, do we have... Oh, we do have ten fasteners. All right. I know we're kind of drinking through a fire hose right now. Now we have a primitive dam. We can go ahead and build... Um, I'm going to go ahead, before we do all that, very, very quickly here, just uh, stick a bunch of these things. Make sure they can't jump over it. There we go. Because we want this to hold back some of the water. So now, the primitive dam can go right there. It should, hopefully, stop the water mostly from going through at least as much as we need. And uh, that will be good. That's not going to be the top priority building currently. But should have no problem getting that done before the next drought comes in. All right, so kimchi. Looks like we got five bramble flowers, ten cabbage. Takes 72 hours and we get 12 units of kimchi. So we're going to have to, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make sure we stay on this harvest here. And I think what I'm going to need to do is just go ahead and cut down all of these trees here. Yeah, just cut down all these pine trees. We have the other trees elsewhere because we really need to have this space for farming and farming-related activities. So once this gets built, this guy will become uh, important to get that done. And then I want to go ahead and move right here, put in this spot those two next to each other. And, of course, later on we'll have the upgrade uh, from the two adjacent water pump buildings for right now, though. Just have that connected like so. And when that's out of there, we can get this guy moved and uh, figure out something else to put in this spot. Don't know exactly what that's going to be, but we'll get there when we get there. Looks like they're already making good progress on this primitive dam. Love to see that. It's just so funny to me. I had to, I had to do that house exploit twice. That's uh, That sure is something, isn't it? Now, what I don't know is these farm upgrades, large farmhouse. I think this is a separate building from the farm upgrade. So I just, I want to know if I can put a path around here, kind of fence this building in, or if I don't want to do that. Might not be something we want to get into. Because right now we're out of food. We need these guys to harvest stuff. Because I think what they did is they front loaded the kimchi production. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. But it does give us more units of food because you can't eat the bramble flowers by themselves. You can't eat the cabbages. But um, it seems like uh, the kimchi is going to be a slightly better option for the food anyway. Speaking of, let's check our well-being. Uh, nutrition. There should be... Is there not one for kimchi? I guess not. There is one for cabbage. 
So maybe I'm actually not smart having it all become, uh, become kimchi here. I don't know. It's a function of the game. So we're going to try it out because, you know, we're, we're playing the game. That's what you do. If it's, if it's worse, then it's worse. And that's a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Stuff happens. I just, there's so many of these bramble flowers, man. I can't believe it. But I do have to wonder if they can actually get into the thicket at all, because I only see them on the outside. So maybe it is one of those things where we need to cut it back and just kind of have it um, segregated with these little pathways here. So since we know it grows so quickly, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to redeploy our... Uh, oh, why did I put that facing that way? I'm going to redeploy our lumberjack flag here. Come on. And I'm going to have him cut... I'm going to have him cut probably... Uh, Let's get this, get this out of here. Uh, I'm going to have him cut down uh, a strip. Come on. A strip here and then a strip here. So we can actually just have a row so they can access everything all at once. And then, of course, uh, cut down these trees as they have the ability to do that. So that hopefully will give us enough to be harvesting bramble flowers, not have to worry about anything else once that's taken care of. Just put our paths in place appropriately as they have the ability to get rid of that stuff. And this guy's working. Lumberjack flag, not this one. So where... Oh, I had another one here. Oh, well, I didn't need to have this at all. We can get rid of that. Oh, forgive me for being uh, not quite so intelligent there. Okay, this one's done. Oh, good, our primitive dam's complete. And that's a pretty good water height. I think we're going to be A-OK -okay having it like that. As long as it stops it during the drought, which is hopefully hopefully what's going to happen with that. Should be OK. And water is here. These two are both in place, which means it is time for this one to go away. And we can have uh, guys move in here. Good, we've got these little... Uh, little beaver children and this is all pretty much with the exception of these small ones pretty much all done so what I'm gonna do now I gotta think about it because I'm not gonna have the housing actually in one spot because this stuff gets kind of spread all over the place I think the easy answer is gonna be to just you know plant more cabbage here because we have the space for it and as soon as these trees get all taken care of uh, get those as well. Is this guy not? Okay, there's nobody here because we don't have enough beavers. We really just need these beavers, the little ones, to grow up. So maybe we just uh, maybe we just go ahead and build a campfire so they have something to do. We can always get rid of this at a later date, but we'll just put that there. We do have the logs. Uh, metal fasteners storage, we really need to have another one of those. So let's put in... Uh, it's probably going to have to be a pile, no? Let's check our resource list here. No, they're going to go in a warehouse. Okay. So, uh, crappy warehouse. <laughs> what, a, what a fantastic name. Uh, I'll set this to fasteners. Right across the way. Very easy for them to get to. Uh, we have this for sawdust. Uh, where's our storage for the other? I guess it's just in the mine. We probably need to have better storage for that also. That, I know, has to be a pile. So we could have... Uh, right here is actually supposed to be another mine when we get there. If I put something here, I feel like it's going to be uh, blocking our progress elsewhere. But at the same time, I don't think that really needs to be that big of a concern. So I'll put this guy here. Uh, we'll have them deposit some more coal. Uh, just in case our, yeah, our scrap metal harvesting is... Well, it's progressing about as well as one would expect. Yep, metal fasteners. Now they can work efficiently. All right, why are we why are we upset? Hungry, hungry, hungry beavers, huh? Oh, I love that this is so white with the fire. Although I haven't seen the actual fire come up here. Um, so we have I guess they I guess they ate all the kimchi, huh? That's a little concerning. So let's pause real quick so we don't have a huge huge problem here. Uh, gather a flag. Hey, devilish one. Working here in the uh, gathering area. Uh, now I'm going to have to, I think, focus this guy on berries. Yeah, devilish, you focus on gathering berries for these people to eat. 
people beavers because uh, it's going to be bad news if we have beavers starving to death. That's uh, not the ideal scenario. Looks like Devilish actually just became an adult, so uh, congrats on your uh, lifetime career of harvesting berries. Very fulfilling, I'm sure. All right, stuff's looking uh, pretty okay. Otherwise, it's too bad that the spatter dock is going to be more or less useless <laughs> for the time being. I really thought I was going to be able to do something early game with that, but apparently not. It does not seem to be something we can do. The green peas, I think, are also something we got to wait for, so it is very much cabbage and sunflower time over here. We really want to have some assistant uh, farming people. Uh, oh, we can build a florist. That is one thing I was going to build. I just had to find a good spot for it. And I was thinking about, do I want to put it over here? Do I want to put it up here, maybe? Because this also, I believe, will serve as a house. Yes, it will. So since this is empty, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. And we're going to plant our florist up here. There we go. That's a cool looking building, too, with the uh, the lattice work kind of a uh, little pergola or some sort of thing, I guess, is what you would call that. But we, we are currently making everything we need to uh, build this. We just have to have a little bit more clay. Metal fasteners shouldn't be an issue, nor should the planks with the logs. Do we actually have anybody working here? We do not, because we don't have enough. Um, yeah, these... Oh, they're hungry and they're thirsty. All right, so now I guess... Yeah, this is a mistake. I keep building all these things for beavers to do. And I don't have them... Uh, I don't have them actually going into, a, oh, into areas they can actually use, you know? That's uh, unfortunate. Well, they're pumping now. I can tell you that. They are pumping. The other kind of unfortunate thing is these uh, these pine trees spread like weeds. I want to make sure that we're actually able to, you know, keep the beavers alive. It seems like now that is going to be slightly easier because we are kind of producing stuff. These guys in the florist are just waiting on planks. I'm sure I. Yeah, I got one guy one guy here gnawing planks. We're going to have to have slightly better uh, sawmill. Oh, we can build one of these, actually. Uh, we have to use... We have to make blades for the saw, which I think has to be constructed in... Yep, the primitive ironworks can either make fasteners or blades. So we have, we have fasteners. Do we have enough to actually build? Yep. So let's go ahead and uh, change that over to saw blades. Start making a couple of those because we do have the uh, metal fastener stored here. And then I guess we can go ahead and find somewhere to put our rudimentary sawmill. Uh, based off of our harvesting, it probably would be a good idea for us to... Does that have a second level entrance, really? Um, oh, it's watertight. So I guess they I guess they really want us to be building a lot of these things down in the water, which, you know, makes sense. So if I were to do that, this actually wouldn't be a terrible spot for it. We could put some more stuff in there. So let's let's do that. Put this guy right there and then uh, where does the doorway actually connect? Right here? Oh, that's interesting. There's I can build something on top of this. Okay. So it must use uh, must use water power. I would have to imagine. Oh, hold on. Nope, we can't do this. We can't do this because it requires power. And it requires 50. Oh, and the only thing... Oh, no. The power will only do us five? Oh, I got bamboozled. I got bamboozled again. All right, so that's gone. Um, goodbye, first of all. Stop. Hello? Can I can I not can I not stop building this after it's oh, okay, because there's a there's a path, that's why. I was about to say, don't do this to me. Yeah, we'll we'll have to come back to that later. Uh, apologies. I really thought we were gonna be able to do that, but we don't have power yet. So that's gonna be an interesting problem for us to solve. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to uh to do this a little bit better, but I guess I was wrong. So we're really going to need to be able to set up shop somewhere with good water flow for all these crappy water wheels before we were able to really do too much, huh? Yeah, because that requires science that we can't get until we build the library. Well, you know, 
I guess we can because we already have the, uh, what is this called? The uh, incredibly compact library set. Yeah. Um, and that requires, it looks like, um, yeah, they work off of food, which makes complete sense. Uh, uh, is that dandelions, really? Um, oh, I have to have a tree. Oh, my God. All right, tree nursery. All right, let's, let's come off a of turbo speed here for a second. Tree nursery. What do I have to do to build a tree nursery? Uh, lodges, 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 farm upgrades, uh, balloon trader landing. That's going to be fun. Alchemist. Is that under food for tree nursery? Already doing the florist. Hobby gardener. Uh, tree nursery, tree nursery. Which one of you is a tree nursery? Am I just, am I dumb? D did I miss something? Because I don't see... I don't see tree nursery. We have a forester, tapper shack, four-way district center, district crossing, alchemist, wood felling, planification lodge, harvester's office. I love the names of some of these. Builder's lodges, compass lodge, harvester's lodge, handcrafters, builder's office, balloon trader, uh, tree. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'll sit and look at all this. All right. So so let's let's think here. So, am I going to have to find... Oh, I have dandelions. I have dandelions over here. How many are there? There's just a few, but I don't have a thing going all the way across, and I can't I can't because I have this... Oh, this primitive dam in place. All right. Uh, are there any dandelions over here? Oh, they're way over here. But that's going to be easier for us to get to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way easier. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just stick this guy all the way over here. Give him his own gathering. I will always think that's in the food thing. Give him a gatherer flag and let them um, let them just gather these dandelions. I am so glad I don't have to worry about that. Library though can go uh, maybe. Hmm. I thought it was gonna fit there. Uh, there's no universe in which this will work, is there? So if I... If I want to look at the front of the building, though, because I think that looks cool. I guess what I could just do is um, have this connect a slightly different way here. Yeah, let's get rid of that and see if this... could also place it that way. Um, are there any things that have to go on top of the library? Before I go crazy here. Um, not watertight. Okay, so that... Mm, so I, I've ascertained that this is supposed to be like an advanced studying thing like a university. We're not going to get there for a long time anyway. So I'm not going to worry about placement for it. But I think what we'll just do is stick this library right here. Um, oh, you can have 16 people working on it, huh? That's cool. But that'll let them build. We do have the incredibly compact library set. I love that so much. That's hilarious. We'll let them build that. Uh, we should hopefully have some of these beds filled up a little bit more relatively soon. What are we waiting for here? Planks? All right. We can go back to our turbo mode here. Uh, water storage becoming more and more of an issue. Don't have enough bramble flowers to make kimchi because this guy is focused. Is that still devilish fun? Should be. Yep. Still harvesting berries. So I, I kind of don't want to have a second one of these because I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. But we might want to just go ahead and have that set up just in case. Yeah. Not like we really have any extra beavers to spare. I got to make sure I'm on top of putting these... Uh, paths in as soon as they start harvesting the uh the brambles for wood because that's uh it's gonna grow and fill it up really quick yeah see how fast that is might have to have a couple of these guys just go ham uh cutting all these things back seems like that's gonna be an issue but i think it is gonna be better once we actually have access uh deep within there to be harvesting things uh food wise uh we do have some cabbages Probably should be planting more than we currently are. 
Yep, here's our drought again, four days. Should be no big deal. We have a decent number of water stored up. Decent amount of water, I guess. Um, I'm going to deprioritize our pumps. Uh, they are, they're working though, so let's, let's find another way to, uh, let's find another way to make, oh, devilish funds over here now, what, what, come on. Just changing, changing jobs because you're bored or what? Like, what's going on, man? Um, that guy's out of there. Uh, still building that, I guess. Might as well go ahead and, there we go. I just didn't want to pumping any water because I can't guarantee they're not going to pump this completely dry. Obviously, as time continues to go on, we'll get better at managing our uh, our time and our space here. Now, what is... Oh, this guy's dirty. That's why... Yep. I'm so glad we took care of that mechanic early because... Um, where is it? Filth? Yeah. That was going to be a huge problem <laughs> if we didn't have that done. So planks... Planks are the big gotcha now for the florist. So actually what I should have done... Um, should have done... Is had a two guys working here in the log gnawing station because it's uh oh it's full of sawdust full of sawdust so what what can i use sawdust for i feel like that's gonna have to be part of some sort of recipe uh or can i just dispose of it oh paper mill okay yep that's gonna gonna be a long time before we get to that so i guess i just have to keep storing it uh, planks are empty, so guess what? This is now going to become storage for sawdust. And I'll make these empty. Oh, get out of the way. This instead can be storage for planks. Because we have this huge, huge sawdust storage there. Hopefully that'll help uh, offset things for a little bit. Alright, come on, florist, I'm counting on you. I need this to be, uh, need this to be successful here. Nobody's over here harvesting dandelions, which I guess is okay as long as these don't die. That's gonna be fun. So we're gonna need to have uh, we're gonna need to have some sort of expedition down here to dam this up. That's gonna take uh, probably a pretty good while, especially the way these dams are set up, because these are upgrades. Yep, we're gonna have to research the upgrades so we can only do single level dams unless we build houses. Uh, I think we could probably just build houses and pause them so nobody tries to live there, but that seems kind of just a little bit like cheesing the game. I don't know if we want to really go that far. All right, let's see. I, I cannot tell. Is this something I could guess? We really, really got to make sure we're uh, making inroads on these brambles as they're able to uh, take care of that. Good news, though. This stuff seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, these pine trees should be, uh, hopefully, able to uh, be used here. I'm going to go ahead and plant some more cabbages. And I'm going to start demolishing some of these berry bushes, because this should be enough over here. And I think we want to make sure this area is left uh, available for our harvesting and planting needs. really want to make sure that we are stopping the spread of the berries pretty much at all costs. Continue having our path go this way. I still want to leave space open here in case I need to put some more farmhouses in. But our florist, whenever they manage to finish building this thing, that should help a lot in terms of harvesting plants. And they'll actually be able to plant more cabbages up this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Then on this side plant some more sunflower seeds. We'll leave this space open here. Is that still marked as a cuttable thing? Yeah, let's get rid of that. The rest of these things can't cut trees on farmland, but we do want to cut this guy. Just make sure we don't let the trees grow too much further up here. So all we're waiting on is planks. Really, they, they take so long. So long to do these planks. You know what? You know what I forgot again? It's the 24th. Oh my god. Oh, it's been a whole cycle. A whole cycle since I turned that on. 
But the beavers don't seem to be getting exhausted, so maybe that's a uh, maybe that's a bug with the uh, with this mod. I'm actually not sure because they sh I should have by all means should have had beavers refusing to work all over the place, but they uh, <laughs> they they never told me, so I forgot. I'm I'm so used to that being a thing. Well, don't worry, don't worry. They're back to 18 hour days like normal exploited beavers, so all is well. Although it is. It is pretty funny. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of comments of people compl complaining that I left a bunch of hours. Oh boy. That is, uh, that's a blunder for the ages right there. But what's funny is even 24 hours, they still didn't make any planks. Still taking their sweet time making all these planks. We have plenty of, uh, things. So I guess I just need to prioritize by haulers here and, uh, make sure that that turns into something. Oh boy. Oh boy. What fun. That's just, uh, yeah, that's, that's something. All right. <laughs> that, that was a choice. Yep. And this one needs the planks too. It has the incredible, incredibly compact library set as we, uh, as we expected. So that's fine. I love how the sawdust is all just stark bleach white and the, the, tr the trees aren't any, uh, any different color. All right. Yeah. Just continuing, continuing to make progress here. Very, very slowly. Broken teeth. Roy Gray breaking his teeth at the log gnawing station. We appreciate your sacrifice. Uh, okay. Man, they're just slower than Christmas trying to get these, uh, these planks. Five sawdust per plank? No wonder this takes forever. They're wasting half the wood. Alright, so I still don't have any extra beavers. Uh, I'm trying to think. Can I divert anybody? Can I divert anybody to uh, doing any of that? And I, I don't know that the answer is yes. Um, the clay pit, maybe we could just go down to one devilish fun and handle that all by himself, like a big boy. Uh, get somebody in here. Hey, Rick, we got Roy, we got Rick, and we got... Um, I, th I believe this is a default name. I really ought to just delete all the default names from the names list. And we have almost 90, uh, 90 beard boosters now. Which is awesome. But that also means I don't necessarily remember all the names off the top of my head, which is a little unfortunate. Yeah, planks are going to be a problem for a long, long time. But I do have crude saw blades. It's just, if I want to use the rudimentary sawmill, I have to have power, which means I can either have 10 beavers running on the power wheels, or I can have, uh, I think it would require four of these, because they only make 15 apiece, and I just don't have space. Well, I guess I could put it here. Or maybe down here, but it's um yeah it's it's just not working. <laughs> That's not a not a viable alternative right now. Not not really gonna be the uh, the best thing in the world. So I guess we'll just have to keep suffering in silence with our three three beavers gnawing away at the log gnawing station. Man, it's gonna take them the entire rest of this video to get this one floor as done. Uh, well, at least uh, at least I should be able to put a few more beavers in here. Once we have some more grow up, we do have three little beaver infants. Which, speaking of, actually, let's take a take a roll call. We got anonymous. We got boy boy. We got uh, crowost. We got devilish fun. Jack Galvin, James Peacock, mostly harmless is not a booster, but still a custom name anyway. Nani is here. Rick's here. Rogue operations. We got Roy Gray. We got uh, Beaver Childs. We got Cecily. Woodman, we've got uh, these two. Their default names. So haven't seen uh, haven't seen everybody pop up yet this playthrough. But uh, the good news is this one's about to be an adult, so it's about halfway. And Cecily here is still very young, so we'll let them uh, keep enjoying a beaver childhood. Let's see what else is going on here. Well, they're going a little faster now. It's 4.2 hours now that there's four beavers working instead of a uh, set of two. So I guess that is, you know, it's, it's progress. We're getting there, but we are going to have to turn one of these uh, water pumps back on pretty soon. So I'll go ahead and light that up. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, nobody's here. What about our, uh, okay. Tapper's flag, I think at this point can now be a low priority because there's not a, well, I have 
144 stored up. I don't think we're going to need that much for a while. So that hopefully allows... Nope, nobody's here. I guess they went to... Uh... Oh, now Devilish is working to the log knowing station. My man gets around. Trying to, trying to do every job, huh? Well, hopefully that means if we have five beavers in here, it'll take, what, three hours? Stuff 4.2? I guess we'll find out the next day after they all get their nightly rest. Nobody's working here, right? Okay, these are about to be dead anyway. But the drought is over, so that's good news. I can have them working back in here, except we don't have, uh, still don't have enough beavers for all the jobs. Um, as far as building goes, it's probably not that crucial to have uh, builders here in the district center if we're only really building two buildings that aren't time sensitive. Uh, the primitive ironworks, I think I can actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to demote that to a low priority job because we do have metal fasteners and we have crude saw blades that we can't use yet, <laughs> but we do have those. Um, we probably need to have storage. I'm going to make, uh, oh, that doesn't fit there. Okay. Um, oh, we have all this space down here that no longer is uh, necessary. So incredibly compact library sets can become saw blade storage just to make sure that gets, um, just put in its place and we can turn this guy back whenever they start working again, back into metal fasteners, uh, or medium cauldrons. I don't think we need those yet. So let's just go back to metal fasteners. Although since nobody's working, we can check out this other recipe. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's going to take too long to build. So we'll just go back to metal fasteners. Whenever somebody comes back in here, they can pick that back up. Oh, they're killing me with, they're killing me with this florist, man. Come on. All right, log nars, gnaw your logs. Let's get a, let's get a close up on the action here. Tastes good, huh? Where's the fifth one? Who's not here? Okay, no, devilish fun's here. There we go. There we go. There's only five five beavers, but it's, it seems like there's enough space for them to gnaw six at a time here. So now uh, now you got me curious. So well, they, they just chew in the log all day, and then they make a pile of sawdust, and then move it over here. And then somebody scraggles out a plank and hauls it off to somewhere else on the map. Well, it works, I guess. Got somebody working here, and we really don't want them to get thirsty. Fortunately, everybody is full up on water. Oh, I love watching them just sit here. They got the tails pulled up in front of themselves like they're uh, they're warming up their tails by the fire. What a great animation. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the base game animation anyway, but still looks cool. All right, I'm going to un, un low priority these guys again. Make sure we get some of that going. It would be nice if the water storage house was able to pump a little bit, but then again, I think that's the whole purpose of, uh, of this water pump anyway. Now, I wonder... Now, because this is... Uh, because this is set up, I guess... Oh, oh, I bet this is supposed to be underwater because this is watertight. So that would give us a little bit more space. Base. Am I going to have to tear this down and build this again? Oh boy, that's embarrassing. I could have had this done right the whole time. But she didn't. Alright, well, I guess what's going to happen now is we're going to be pumping a bunch of water and then rebuild these things again. Not like we don't have tons of stuff to do already. They're, just, they're killing me with these planks, man, on the florist. they got, they got to be able to go faster than this. They have to. There's no way it's actually that slow. Boy, boy over here, toiling away in the mines. Uh, guess what? No more, no more mine working. Go do something else. Go chew on some logs. There you go. Appreciate you. Anybody working here? Ah, not anymore. Go do something else. But it's good that we have the dandelions uh, for whenever we need those. All right. Now, where is it? Where is it going to have him go work? Very curious. Is he now a hauler? So I guess he works at the log gnawing station and lives in the district center. There you go. I love I love that they can live here. That's hilarious. All right. So I guess this workplace is now uh, bumped up in importance. Got to pump some water out because man, I got to put the, I got to put this down in the water. I can't believe I missed that. That's such a dumb mistake. Then again, I kind of can believe I missed that, but you know how it goes. 
Now, when we get to the uh, upgraded farmhouse, of course we can't do it yet. I'm just trying to see. Assistant farmers. Hold on. Am I just am I just reading this wrong? Oh, okay, this is just an upgrade module that has uh, more farming. This upgrade cannot plant crops, but I guess they just gather things. Assistant farmers, harvesters. All right, gotcha. This is this is the large farmhouse variant. It's a separate building. Well, the good news is it, they just need whatever that purple stuff is. I'm assuming that's tar that we would make from. Uh, Probably cooking some sort of uh, plants up. Oh, I thought I could uh, put a path down, but I guess I was wrong. What's what's this guy even? Rogue operations, my man. What are you doing? You're supposed to be uh, supposed to be taking some. Oh, you're asleep. Okay, well, time to wake up, my dude. You're exhausted. I bet you are. Uh, wake up and smell the brambles here. Got to got to have you take some of these things out. Well, you're hungry. You can have a hey, you have a snack. Have a snack and then go back to work. We do have some uh, fantastic same food you've been eating forever. So, uh, you know, have at it. <laughs> Fortunately, this lumberjack flag is just about finished. Uh, just have to have oh, we have to have some of this uh, logs being used, huh? All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to move. I know this is like the fifth time I've done this. Oh, can I can I seriously not do that? I had it right the whole time. Oh, that's... Mm, 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 I can't build it here. Can't build it here. I played myself like an absolute fool. All right. Well, I guess just build that really quick then. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh man, what am what am I doing here? They still are nowhere close on the on the planks for the floors. Come on, man. Oh, uh, you guys gotta be able to cut faster than this. You got to. It is it is taking so long. Even with me making stupid mistakes like this. Hmm, that is slow. Slow, slow, slow. What else can I even build without waiting on something else? I mean, I guess there's any any number of things that we could build. Uh, alchemists could be uh, oh, making medicine, making bombs, huh? So that's instead of dynamite. I guess that's what it was, that sulfur, saltpeter, whatever that we uh, found out the other time. Uh, is that sunflower oil? I'm going to have to... I'm really going to have to look this stuff up. Oh, man, I don't even I don't even know what half this stuff is. Is this some sort of stew? Treated planks? They can do those too. Okay. I'm not really worried about medicine yet. All right, so if we're actually going to be taking our lumberjacking seriously, we'd want to build one of these wood felling plantification lodges, harvester's office. So maybe, maybe we want to build, because I think we have the resources to do this if we just build. Yeah, yeah, we'll put, we'll put, we'll put this right here, I think. Or maybe up, maybe upstairs would be, would be better. Right here, does that reach? This actually reaches uh, pretty well, I think, if we put this here. Yeah, let's, let's put that there. Harvester's office can, well, harvest, and then we can get rid of these two things. And I think, yeah, they'll have them work a little bit faster. I just, <laughs> it's so hilarious. I was convinced that I had played myself by not having uh, not having this in the water. And I was wrong. But it happens. We're learning. We are working, uh, working on something for sure. Oh, come on. I need nine more planks. Nine more planks for the florist. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The sawdust is almost completely full, too. That's going to be a... Uh, a bit of a problem because I don't have anything to do with the sawdust yet. All right, gather flag. Goodbye, goodbye. You now work here. Congratulations. Uh, prioritize. I guess nothing. They can just do both because we'll employ up to four. So that's good. Oh, oh we got to read the flavor text. Don't you dare come into my house covered in dirt and berry juice. Get a shower first, or I'll toss you in the river myself. 
Mommy Beaver every evening. So who's Mommy Beaver in here? I don't know. <laughs> I guess they're taking applications for that for that job. But that is gonna oh, it's gonna be so much better having them uh, having them up here organized a little bit better. Come come on, I I need I need you to cut these brambles away so I can put paths down so they stop growing over themselves. Well, that'll be its uh its own thing, I'm sure. So instead of having the lumberjack flag here, what if take advantage of some of these new structures here? So if oh, that's actually smaller than I thought it was. All right, so if we did that instead and put um. I think I'm going to move both of these because we're not going to lose the materials. I'll put this here and then right next door, storage piles, uh, medium pile. Yep, we'll um, put that right there. That'll be for... Uh, that's the wrong thing. Warehouses. That's what I wanted. Crappy warehouse. Rotate correctly, please. Thank you. Oh, now I gotta find it. Um, where is... Where is... Pine resin? I cannot, for the life of me... Right here? Okay, there we go. So that's more, uh... More housing. That means we can get rid of the lumberjack flag as soon as that's done. Oh, it needs planks. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> me and these planks, man, I swear. So I guess we need to... Prioritize this because otherwise they're going to build the library, and I think this is probably going to be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more important. Although I can, I think I can very quickly see how we're going to want to be a little more careful about how we lay things out, because a lot of these buildings are two stories, and have the ability to either be watertight or have other things built on top. So definitely, definitely a lot of verticality incorporated in this mod, and we'll have to see how all that is uh, going to play out. Oh, uh, we're full of sawdust. Full of sawdust, so we can't make any more planks. Oh, so many, so many stinking things of sawdust. All right, um, that's dirt. All right, so I, oh, that was almost immediately filled up. Okay. I just, come on, just let, just let me build. Let me build this one. I need four more planks. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just make this. Just do it, do it for me. Are we, are we almost full of water? Nice. That is actually, uh, as far as I can tell, full. So I'm going to get rid of this small tank, and I think we're going to put in... Well, before I get too excited... Uh, we have other things we can do, like pit tanks. Uh, looks like we can stick this... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. Look at us go right here. We'll put a pit tank right there to hold water. And that is going to allow us to get rid of... That guy, because these uh, hold twice the capacity. They're twice as tall. So that'll take that plus a little bit extra and also fills in that space we couldn't use otherwise. So that's excellent. Come on, planks for the florist, please. Oh, there's so much sawdust. Oh, and I feel like I shouldn't get rid of it because we're going to want it later. But maybe, maybe it's just something that we're going to have to wait on anyway. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. I love how this still has the uh, the construction flags up on the top here, even though it doesn't really need them. Interesting design element, though. All right, so I guess they can't do any more. Uh, can't do any more because there's not <laughs> gonna have another another thing just completely full of sawdust. I swear. Come on, just just give me these last four planks. You know, you know we got to get something accomplished here. Because I really also wanted the library to be finished, but uh, 60 planks, uh -uh, that's, that's going to take a really long time. Really long time. So now I think, I was kind of against it, but I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have, oh, it takes planks too, we're so screwed. <laughs> oh god, come on. Oh man, uh, can I put, I can put five of these actually. Might not be the most uh, efficient way, but I guess what we'll do is we'll just place, just place these in here. 
Uh, make sure this is the correct way around. There we go. I guess we'll just... I'll fold and I'll make, make this. It's fine. Then we can make our little rudimentary sawmill. We do have to pay attention to the inlet. That these will only get power from one specific corner. Which I thought was uh, interesting. But that guy, I guess, will just live right there. It'll be fine. We'll just... Just have to put it right here. We have everything else to make it. We just, uh... Oh, it's a second second story. All right. Oh, now I gotta, now I gotta think about this. Uh, we don't have... None of these have been placed yet, so maybe... All right. I know this, it's gotta be super irritating to all of you guys watching this. Um, if I do that, it's not gonna be wide enough. That might actually be wide enough, but I'm gonna have to... Uh, uh, do I do I even want to bury it? I don't think I do. Well, we need we need that anyway. So if I put this here, I can only fit three. I think, or maybe I can fit. No, oh, they're not gonna not gonna want to play nice. That's not gonna work. If I pause this, so we don't get ourselves into trouble here. Pretty sure the crappy water wheel. No, now it's too low. Nope, I bamboozled myself again. All right. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll just. <laughs> We'll just do it the hard way. We'll just... Uh... <laughs> oh, come on, man. We'll just... We'll just do it this way. Just do it this way. I'll build... Uh, I'll build these two. These two, and then I'll build the one in the middle so they can actually, you know, get at everything. Oh, man. What a pain this is going to be with our uh, with our planks. Are we still... Are we... We filled up... You know what? You know what? No. I no longer care. I no longer care about preserving the logs or the sawdust. It's going away. We do not have storage for this. Absolutely do not have storage for this. All right. So we get to build a new large pile and just completely eliminate the sawdust because I cannot have that just be completely dominating every single thing we have going on here. Good news, though, is they are uh, harvesting the rest of these materials here. Looks like all that's left is explosives and gears. One gear? Um, that is made by oh I haven't even thought about the rest of this yet who makes gears well hold on this makes handcrafters handicrafters sorry makes explosives out of I guess that's some sort of chemical in the barrel with the explosion and sawdust and paper okay but how do I make the gears must they must come out of the uh no screw press axles I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of research here to figure out how in the world to make some gears. Either that or just mouse over all of this because I don't see. Well, that looks nightmarish to build. <laughs> oh my god. Um, wine cellar. Wow. Okay. Beaver's getting a little uh, little fancy, huh? All right. Do I have a single? I'm still at 36 planks. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, they're put. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. I told them to do this. I told them to accelerate construction of the wooding, wood, wood felling planification lodge because I didn't want them to build the library instead. But what I should have done is I should have also prioritized construction of the floors. So they actually are using, they are using it correctly. It's just, you know, not exactly working the way I wanted it to. That's okay. We're learning sometimes, sometimes. It doesn't always, uh, doesn't always work that way. All right, Harvester's office. It looks like I've got the opportunity to plant some more. Plant some more. Come on, paths. I really, I can't put a single path in here? Okay, because they're in the middle of... All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just... We're just going to sacrifice all of these. Get them demolished so I can put the stinking paths in. But we are harvesting, though. So that is some degree of progress. It's just these things grow so fast that you kind of can't control them. So I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we're doing this. I shudder to think what the other area looks like with all the brambles over there. I guess, uh, I guess they're going to take their sweet time getting rid of these brambles. Does it really take that long? I feel like it shouldn't take that long. But nevertheless, I guess we'll just let them do their thing. Like, was this guy stuck? Like, what's what's up? Working at the lumberjack flag, starving, dehydrated. Go get something to eat and drink, man. Come on. 
we have, I mean, there's not that much food, but we do have, do have cabbages available for you. All right, all that for one, one little path segment. Uh, how's our kimchi looking? I, I guess it just takes time. All right, I mean, it is, it is doing something, so, you know, it could be worse. I still only have 36 planks here. Are you kidding me? Um, all right, let's let's just get them to build this large pile first, because maybe it is maybe it is the sawdust holding things up again. Although the animation continues even if they're not working, which uh, well, I mean, I get it, but did have me with a oh look how fast look how fast that emptied out. Give kind of give me a false sense of security, but now we can watch these guys do this. Take care of all this for uh, just a second here. Is just killing me with the rate of protection of these planks. But it probably was my fault, all things considered. So I can't really be can't really be that upset about it. You know, you know how it goes. All right. Uh, okay, okay. I got some. No, I still can't build path here. Man, this is this is like ruthless with these brambles. I guess they're growing across paths, but they could still. I can still traverse them, so I guess that's all right. Yeah, we are. We are certainly working, though, and this episode is uh, going to be a little bit longer, I guess. But if it's once a week, I guess that's not so bad. We will probably wrap it up. We'll probably wrap it up here in a couple minutes. Maybe at the end of this next drought, so we get our, uh, I guess, three full cycles in. That's, that's plenty for a video, huh? We still have a shortage of... Uh, Still have a shortage of uh, beavers to work these jobs, so I guess probably once this florist is built, there we go. Finally, finally, got some open beds in the wood wood felling plantification lodge. Say that five times fast. Uh, that's going to provide some beds as well once that's done. But now we have florists. Uh, if somebody works here, then uh, this guy can, you know, do his thing. Hey, it's devilish again. There, <laughs> this guy gets around, man. I'm telling you. He, he has done, what, five or six different jobs in this uh, this one episode? Good for you, man. Good work ethic. Yep, waiting on the planks again. Who to thunk it? <laughs> waiting on waiting on planks. Over and over and over and over. These guys are all, all going to town on the planks here. And now we have this ready to go. And Devilish lives here in the Woodfelling Planification Lodge. Couldn't even live where you work, huh? Or maybe you just want that separation. I, I think that's important sometimes. If you do all your work in the same place you sleep, sometimes it stresses you out. Ask me how I know. Um, no, we're all good. So it is It is nice, though, to see Devilish here helping out with the uh, harvesting. What a team player, man, I'm telling you. Great guy. So that's looking good. Caps lock is not the A key. That's why I couldn't move. Um, any progress here at all? I guess they're putting the planks in here now, which is fine. That's going to take them 800 years to get to. So probably not going <laughs> to... 60 planks, are you serious? Uh, probably not going to happen by the end of this episode. But we'll see what happens here. We got some uh, water stored up. Uh, oh, I don't have my mod to automate this, I was about to say. Now that the drought's here, I'm going to stop pumping. Going to set this to low priority. Because we have about 200 stored up. Uh, we might have to turn it back on toward the end. But, you know, it's a five-day drought. We'll be okay. In normal mode, the longest drought is going to be is nine days. So, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably never going to be a problem. But now we get to decide. The last five days here, do we want to build the crappy water wheels, or do we want to build the library? And I think the library is not as important right now, because we really, really have to get a better solution for these, uh, oh man, for these, uh, uh, what do you call them? Planks. That, it's, that's completely completely has broken my brain at this point so let's go ahead and set that to a higher priority get those guys built because as far as i can tell they can make the planks they just can't get completely full up with sawdust or else you know bad things happen so we'll get them to take care of that build these and then what we'll do is we'll put our rudimentary sawmill which also <laughs> oh geez also requires planks oh no it's, you know, it's it's one of those things that just, you know, it, it just happens. <laughs> You're not going to get away with it otherwise. All right, rudimentary sawmill, do your thing. Oh, the thing that kills me, though, is I don't have a... I don't have a same level entrance for this. This is going to take up so much space. 
Because I, I can't research the stairs? Oh, come on, man. Oh, what a drag. I, the, I'm, the mod's supposed to be hard, so I, I really can't be upset about it. Because it's it advertises as being an enhanced difficulty mod, and that's what it is. So, you know, it's it, it's, it says at face value what it's about. So really, really have no uh, no business complaining here. It certainly delivers. <laughs> just in t just in time for the drought, huh? Um, oh, I I don't have my flywheels installed either. I probably uh, I probably should honestly, because it is compatible. So uh, uh, let me know in the comments if you're still watching. The uh, uh, how do you feel about me adding the flywheels mod? Maybe the ladders mod. Just uh, things things of convenience. Do you think that would uh, ruin the authenticity of the uh, Water Beaver experience? Uh, they are officially supported. Well, they're not explicitly officially supported, but they have no compatibility issues. So if you guys are okay with me using the uh, some of those convenience mods, especially flywheels, because I love the flywheels mod. <laughs> so do let me know in the comments what you uh, what you think about that and. If you're okay with it, we'll use them. If not, then, well, I, I might do it anyway. But I do want to make sure I'm soliciting your input because your input does matter. It is a let's play, not a watch me play the game how I want to play the game. So I, I say that all the time. But it really is uh, really is supposed to be something you guys can enjoy as well. So uh, um, two days left down to 48 water. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, gonna have to reactivate our uh, water pump here. One of them at least. So our beavers don't... Wow, that water went away fast. Uh, are we using that in production? I don't... I don't think we are. I don't think there's any production that uses water. Maybe we're just... Uh, just struggling a little bit. How, how do we have 11... How do we have 11 vacancies? I haven't built that much more stuff. Have I? Uh, okay, okay. This, I guess, counts. Um, Lumberjack Flag, that's right, that has to go away. I'm going to plant some more of these uh, sunflowers here instead. I was going to do that a long time ago, and I didn't. So now we have one working here in the Woodfelling Planification Lodge. I'll just have that be a single beaver. Uh, Harvester's Office honestly probably doesn't need to be four. Go down to two. Uh, hopefully, if the log gnawing, all this other stuff gets finished, then we're not going to need to worry about it. I can have everybody come over here to the rudimentary sawmill instead. So all this is waiting on is planks, but I don't think we're going to get that finished by the end of this episode, just judging by the amount of stuff we've got going on here. We have this guy to finish. I have to put one more here to connect all five. And then I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. I probably don't even need five. They might generate more than 15 uh, just by themselves, but... We don't have any flow metrics to compare against, so that's all I can go off of. Fortunately, just about everything for this uh, rudimentary sawmill is done. The scrambled log stairs sounds like a breakfast food. Um, haven't been constructed yet, but that's okay. We have plenty of logs, and we know where to get more if we don't. So we're we're using uh, we're using coal here. We're we're actually making a lot of metal fasteners. That's good to see, because we probably need to start. Uh, Start making some more crude saw blades. Look at them, look at them go, man. They're they're both going. They're doing their best. So let's um since we have so many fasteners, let's switch over to saw blades. Cause, you know, we have 78 stored up. That should be okay for a while. Alright, drought is just about over. I did say that was where we're gonna end today, so I think that is is where we're gonna stop, but I just I cannot resist. I cannot resist seeing how fast these are gonna go. Especially these are all done, so we'll, we'll do just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit more work. Hit these in place and see exactly what's uh, what's going on here. All right, so let's um, let's just speed that up real quick. They're not they're not putting the planks. Oh, they are putting the planks over here in the library. All right, well we don't want to we don't want that to take up too much space. We'll just kind of leave that uh leave that on the back burner for now. But now, let's see, as long as they don't cross through here like idiots. All right, here comes water. How, how fast are these going to go? Okay, 20-ish, 20, 20 25, some of these. All right, so we didn't need five, but whatever. I might as well just build it this way anyway. Especially since the platforms take so many resources to build. 
All right. So uh, I think I think now is probably a good spot to leave it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get everything I wanted to get done complete. But I mean, this is a pretty good amount of progress, all things considered. We've got brambles are taking over the world over here. What does it look like over in this spot? My God. OK, <laughs> well, we're going to have brambles for uh, for all of time, it seems. And here I was worried I wasn't ever going to have any of them. So so may, maybe we maybe we don't mess with these two, <laughs> but they can't be planted without a forester there anyway. So that's that's probably fine. All right. So here we go. Dawn of day two, cycle five. Lots of good progress today. Got our semi permeable dams in place. Got our upgraded district center. We've got we got a whole bunch of new industry, even if it doesn't look like a huge, huge difference. It really is, and I think we can be very proud of what we've gotten done today. So as always, I very much appreciate and look forward to your feedback. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, just want to say hi or whatever, uh, please do drop a comment or uh, talk in the Discord with me about stuff. I'm always open to that, and I very, very much appreciate your interest and energy toward uh, this specific playthrough. A lot of people have been asking for a very long time, and it really is fun. So very much appreciate you being here. Uh, also, of course, very appreciative of the Beard Boosters who make these things possible with their contributions, make it a little easier for me to s dedicate uh, time each and every week to uh, doing these videos. It does take a lot of time and a lot of effort, and you guys make it possible. So thank you very much. Always, always appreciate your support. There's information in the description if you want to be part of that. But of course, you're never obligated. I'm just glad to have you here just the same, whether you are part of that or not. So that's it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. As always, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video tomorrow. More folktales. Hopefully I can find time to do an Oster video for Friday. And then, of course, uh, other fun stuff coming up this week and live streams might get modified a little bit. We'll see. But yeah, have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.